Hi everyone, I'm Bob Harris. Welcome back to another episode of the RTI Knowledge Center. Today we're going to be talking about limiter chains again, only this time we're talking about the left front limiter chain, where we limit the left front travel to get the car more stable and give the car a little bit more of a neutral setting. What messing with this chain can do is it can either get you to the point where your race car can get more side bite or you can get more left rear drive. But I'm going to explain to you how I originally set it because I always set my chain as a neutral spot of a one and a half inch drop. So by measuring, what I do is we took the shock off. I measure the shock to the center of center of shock and it's 14 and three quarters. Then I set this unit accordingly. And now this should measure 16 and a quarter inches, center to center. So what that does, that tells us that we have an inch and a half of drop before the car tries to try to lift the left front tire. When it does that, when the car rolls over, it's giving you more side bite, giving the right rear more traction. Well, sometimes we need to limit the amount of traction that the right rear gets. So what we can do is we can limit this chain. By doing this, you can adjust this in quarter inch increments. And how it works is when the car rolls to the right and it, and it starts to lift this up, then all of a sudden, the weight goes from going to the right rear and it transfers going to the left rear. So it definitely picks up drive coming up off the corner. So once again, this is set to the point where this unit, you can go from one inch to three inches of drop, depending on how you set this adjustable unit. So it works very well. Keep in mind, more chain, longer chain here, allows the car to roll to the right rear more. Less chain, allows the car to get over on the right rear less, but it tractions the left rear up more, so it gives you more forward traction. However, sometimes if you do run this too short, and we've run it like as far as an inch, uh, it's, it's very spooky if we've tried it with zero drop, and that makes the car very inconsistent to drive. So at least always run an inch of drop, but we've tried it with an inch of drop, and it definitely gives the car more traction up off the corner. Uh, you might have to adjust your panard bar a little bit to kind of regain some of that side bite. But once again, this definitely uh, adjusts the amount of weight transfer, whether you want the weight going to the right rear or whether you want the weight going to the left rear. And once again, like I said, picking this whole unit up, tire and everything, is like picking up a 70-pound weight. So it's going to change how the car works. We actually make this unit here... Uh, at BHE, what we do is we make this unit that bolts to your lower control arm, and then we put the chain on it. Now we, bit, we buy this adjuster from Weirs. Uh, they make a great product here, and it makes it so it's very easy to adjust in quarter inch increments. Now we build this clamp on bracket here that allows this thing to clamp on up here on the nose bar, so it fits on pretty much universal for any chassis. And if this is something that you're interested in, uh, you're sure welcome to go to our website at bobharrisent.com. They're available for purchase online. Or you can sure give us a call here at the store, 515-292-9200. Uh, Thanks again for watching. We appreciate you watching this episode, and stay tuned for more episodes to come.